Lord, I thank you and praise you for this beautiful opportunity you give us to just sit in your presence. Thank you, Lord, for your gift of salvation, for saving us and for bringing us into a new life, Lord. Lord, thank you for the gift of good health. Thank you, Lord, for comforting us in our difficult times. Thank you for the brothers and sisters of us from Mexico and Sri Lanka who are here with us, one with us in praising you. Lord, we thank you for the work that, that is being done from Puerto uh, Cantores, India, for uniting us. We thank you for giving us such people who uplift us spiritually. Lord, we thank you for the existing global situation that exists everywhere. We know that you are in control. Thank you, Lord, for the many people and the many happenings that happened well for me to come home to Canada. 
Lord, we thank you for the gift of doctors and healthcare workers who are working so hard all over the world. Thank you for the those who are looking after the sick and the old, especially those in their nineties. Thank you, Father, for having protected us from COVID to enable us to join in this prayer to pray for the whole world. Thank you, Lord, for the research scientists who have come up with the vaccinations for one and all. Thank you, Lord, for our families and the many extended families that show us solidarity during these hard times. Lord, thank you for the gift of all those who are working towards providing relief and aid in uh, Afghanistan and other areas which are suffering right now. Lord, we thank you for giving us a roof over our heads in these difficult times. Protect Afghanistan people. Thank you, Lord, for our priests and clergy, despite the churches being closed, are caring for the people of their parishes. Lord, thank you for always showing us that no matter what our struggles and our problems and our suffering may be, that you have not abandoned us and you are with us. Lord, thank you for the gift of life. Lord, thank you for keeping us safe.
Jeremiah 17. Lord, you are the hope of Israel. All who forsake you will be put to shame. Those who turn away from you will be written in the dust because they have forsaken the Lord, the spring of living water. Heal me, O Lord, and I will be healed. Save me, and I will be saved. For you are the one I praise. They keep saying to me, Where is the word of the Lord? Let it now be fulfilled. The word of the Lord.
We pray for the people of Sri Lanka and Mexico caught in the current pandemic for protection and strength. We pray for all the doctors and healthcare workers working tirelessly at the front lines during this pandemic. Lord, renew their passion and strength. Pray for healing of the sick, comfort to those dying alone, and solace for their loved ones. We pray for the availability of safe vaccination programs for all peoples. We pray for the students dealing with new challenges and uncertainties. Lord, grant them fortitude and strength. We pray for young people at the crossroads of life, that they may not lose hope and believe in God's providence. We pray for all nations, especially Afghanistan, that the clamor of weapons may cease and solutions can be found at the table of dialogue.
we pray for the leaders of all our nations. Jesus, bless them with wisdom, grace, and moral courage to make wise and human decisions for the people. We pray for a swift end to the pandemic and for the global climate crisis. May we work together for a peaceful, just and ethical world. the Worldwide Federation of Pueri Cantores, that they may be true messengers of peace through their voices and lives. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those that trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil amen god of compassion at times we are disturbed by the illness violence and harshness we face. Enable us to turn to you at every moment. We often forget that you dwell in us and we start looking elsewhere for you. Thank you for your Holy Spirit working in us. Open up ways, not just to endure these hard times, but to use them to build bridges of hope, healing, and reconciliation wherever we may be. So 
also pray for the new elections of the IFP that the best may lead that those who are solidly committed to the cause of sacred music may lead all our young people to the throne of Amen Amen 